Snakes are some of the most cryptic animals on the planet, spending most of their lives completely out of sight, unless you know exactly where to look or you just get lucky. And the species that we're searching for on this adventure is so secretive, you might walk right over one without even knowing it. My name is Ben Zeno, and my mission is to inspire you to get outside and discover the amazing wildlife that's all around us. Today, we are exploring the North Carolina Piedmont on the hunt for the elusive mole king snake, a species which many people have never heard of, let alone seen. To have a chance at locating one of these reptiles, we are going to be searching a ton of cover objects where these highly fossorial serpents might be hiding to thermoregulate or search for prey. A snake, a worm snake. Okay, this little cutie, honestly, is exactly what I was expecting to find first. This is the Eastern worm snake. Now, worm snakes have got to be some of the cutest fossorials out there. They're among the smallest in the state. This is actually a fully grown adult, and they get their name because they both resemble an earthworm in terms of their coloration, and because their diet is actually primarily composed of earthworms. Now, while it's hard to quantify exactly how many worm snakes are out here in the environment because they do live underground, they are thought to be perhaps the most common snake in all of North Carolina. But this little thing does need to be careful out here using cover because if a mole king snake was under that cover it might just find this worm snake to be a tasty little snack but that is an awesome snake to find always love to see a worm snake they're so cute we'll get it right back under cover and keep flipping for our mole king what a cutie all right bye little friend stay safe so anytime you're flipping cover for snakes or other wildlife here in the southeast or i guess really anywhere it's always good to be aware of where you are positioning your body in relation to the cover and especially your fingers. You never want to stick your fingers underneath something that you can't see because at least here in North Carolina we have one of the coolest venomous snakes of all time, the copperhead, which is pretty commonly flipped undercover objects. Now I would say this is a very typical encounter with a flipped copperhead. They're usually going to be pretty lethargic, but that doesn't mean if you accidentally grab one while you're flipping something it would not bite you defensively. As I continued searching, I was flipping literally hundreds of cover objects, and I was beginning to worry that mole king snakes were even harder to find than I originally anticipated, and possibly even completely extirpated from the sites where I was surveying. And that's right about when I flipped this large piece of tin and saw something spectacular. You are not going to believe what we just flipped. This right here, this is a mole king snake. Oh my gosh, I have waited so long to see one of these in the wild. This is incredible. I think I started looking for these probably about five years ago at this point, but I have never had a chance to see one of these in the wild or interact with one before this point because this right here is arguably one of the rarest snakes in the Piedmont of North Carolina. Now, this individual is not necessarily a great example of how beautiful these snakes can be. This one is actually currently in shed. Sometimes these can be red or yellow and really, really beautiful, especially in coastal areas. But here in the Piedmont, I would say that this brown coloration is actually far more common. Okay, so why are these snakes so rare? For one thing, king snakes in general are pretty rare. Even just regular old eastern king snakes are rarely seen above ground. But mole king snakes, as the name would imply, they spend the vast majority, probably 95% or more of their lives are spent underground. Because oftentimes these will hunt moles that live underground, but also they are still king snakes. So these are in the genus Lampropeltis, which is that same genus where eastern king snakes and milk snakes are. And as the second largest species of king snake in North Carolina, only behind the eastern king snake in size, mole king snakes are actually large enough to take on venomous snakes. So here in the Piedmont, that's primarily copperheads. They do have a natural resistance to pit viper venom, which is pretty helpful, and they are incredibly powerful constrictors. Because they're spending most of their time underground, they're using mostly their really amazing sense of smell to detect potential prey items. And then what they're going to do is latch onto the neck if they can, wrap it up and squeeze until whatever prey item it is, if it's a mammal or another snake or a lizard, can no longer breathe. So it actually asphyxiates its prey. It does not strangle its prey. Now, because mole king snakes are incredibly cryptic, we know very little about the ecology of this species in the wild. We don't really know how long they typically live in the wild, and we don't know as much about their habitat preferences as we do other snakes. Although I would say that mole king snakes spend the majority of their time 
in like fallow field habitats, but you can also find them in forested landscapes. I actually <laughs> still kind of can't believe that I'm holding a mole king snake. We were actually doing a cover board survey when we found this individual, so this is going to be really great data, and we're hoping that the information we collect from this animal will be used to further mole king snake conservation. What a truly spectacular animal, and we'll get this individual right back under its cover board. That is amazing. If you had fun joining me on our adventure to track down the mole king snake, I think you'd also enjoy coming along as I search for the species larger cousin, the eastern king snake. And you can check out that video right here. Here's your sneak peek at the species that will be featured in the next episode of the Wild Report. Until then, stay curious and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of the Wild Report, signing out.